Now a lot of our PC rigs have some pretty sweet GPUs. Now for video editing, these GPUs can really speed things up, especially when you're rendering, be it uh, rendering a preview or the final export. So problem is with um, Adobe software, a lot of these GPUs aren't supported because the, the Adobe software only supports a small handful of GPUs. So most of the time, the GPUs we have are usually totally ignored by the software. So luckily, there is a workaround for that because um, all that is is that these GPUs are not officially supported. So you can get them to actually work with Adobe Premiere Pro or Adobe After Effects. You just need a little tweaking. Now, GPUs allow for hardware acceleration, otherwise known as CUDA. So to check if CUDA is enabled or disabled, first of all, you want to fire up Premiere Pro. And if you are using Premiere CC, you want to go to Project Settings, that's under File, Project Settings, General. So if you're using CS6 and below, you will have to go to Project tab under Project Settings, General. And under general, video rendering and playback, you will see there are two choices under renderer. So if this one, the first one, uh, Mercury Playback Engine GPU Acceleration CUDA is um, selectable, then congratulations, that means CUDA is enabled on your system. So if CUDA is not enabled on your system, it will be stuck on uh, software only and it will be grayed out. So if so, you will have to enable CUDA manually. Now for After Effects, it's under edit, Preferences, Previews. So under Previews, if CUDA is enabled, you can go to GPU Information and you can select Ray Tracing GPU. Now Ray Tracing is basically how, um, the video renderer for uh, After Effects. So if your CUDA is not enabled, you will only be able to select G uh, CPU and it will be stuck there. So if you're able to select GPU, then congratulations again, CUDA is enabled. So to manually enable CUDA, you will have to go to the directory of which uh, the software was installed in. So usually that's under C, Program Files, Adobe. And then under Adobe, just select the version of the software you're installing. So for Premiere Pro, it's under Adobe Premiere Pro. Select your version. So scroll down and you will come across a file called CUDA Supported Cards. Now click into it, so inside that file is a list of cards that are compatible. So if your card is not on that list, most likely CUDA is not enabled. For After Effects, it's exactly the same except it's in your After Effects folder under Support Files and in a file called Ray Tracer Supported Cards. So for most people, deleting the CUDA supported cards text file or the Ray Tracer supported card text file solves the problem. And I actually highly, highly recommend you actually back up these two files before actually trying to delete them. Because um, if not, you might be facing some complications. So after deleting these files, you can fire up uh, Premiere or After Effects again and check if you can enable CUDA. Now if that works, then you are ready to go. Now, if not, you will have to add the name of your GPU card manually into those two files. So if you have already deleted them, restore them. And after that, I recommend you to install a little widget called GPU-Z. So GPU-Z allows you to see the status of your GPU. So after installing GPU-Z, uh, I'll post a link in the description to where to download GPU-Z. And under name, you will see the full name, actual name of your GPU. Now you will have to know the exact correct name and punctuation of your GPU card. So here it is, remember that. Now open up the CUDA supporter cards file or the Ray Tracer supporter cards file and manually add a line on the bottom of it and type in the name of your GPU exactly as shown in GPU-Z. So for example, I'm using an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 650 Ti Boost card. So you want to type this in exactly as it is. Now you can exclude the prefix, that's NVIDIA. So you start with GeForce GTX 650 Ti Boost. Now the punctuation has to be exactly the same. So Boost capital letters, the GeForce with the F capital. And after that, you want to hit Save. Now usually your system will deny access for you to save a file in the system files folder but no worries just save it to your desktop and then drag that file from the desktop into the folder and replace the original file. Now the process is the same for After Effects and Premiere Pro so after we've done that 
most likely your GPU is enabled and you can use CUDA to accelerate your rendering. So I really hope this video has helped you all. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.